Hi, wanted to give a quick overview of the Monoprice Select Mini 3D printer. Uh, on the internet there's not a whole lot of good information on this unit and some of the reviews that I found were kind of lacking and a little long-winded. Uh, so I wanted to just go quickly go over my, my thoughts on this. I've been using it for about a week now, uh, printing things like this, stuff for work, little parts we're trying out. Uh, but the, the printer's been doing very well. Uh, I will say this, though. It does advertise that it can extrude ABS, and yes, it can, but, but no, it can't. It really doesn't have accurate enough temperature control to properly do it. It, it will extrude it, but anything that requires any sort of, uh, you know, a change, uh, for example, uh, on a part with a, with a flange going to a perpendicular surface, it really can't do very well. It'll be a stress point and it will fracture. It just doesn't have the heat capacity for it. Uh, nevertheless, I'm, uh, I'm using PLA at a nozzle temperature of uh, 200 degrees and, uh, and a plate temperature of 50 degrees. And it, it, does, it does parts like this just fine. Uh, the detailing's fine, uh, as, as you would expect from, from, a, from a lower cost unit. But for $199, uh, I really can't complain that much. It, it, it does do a good job. The user interface on this unit is rather simple. Uh, you only have three main options. Uh, source file uh, under the print menu selection. You can choose from some pre-selected things uh, on their uh, memory card that's provided with the unit, including a version of uh, Cura, which is the uh, recommended uh, uh, slicing and G-code uh, CAM processor. The temperature menu is 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 not bad uh, we have a real simple control of our uh, of our extrusion nozzle temperature and our build plate temperature uh, as well is the jog and move menu one of my complaints is this printer is dreadfully slow in the Z axis up and down uh, it, 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 you really just, just sit there, uh, sit there waiting for this thing to move. Uh, X and Y is relatively quick. Uh, to zero and home the unit when it finishes in its build location, you know, after the build, it, it, it takes a little while. It does get there eventually, though. More than that, though, my, my, uh, <clears throat> this scroll wheel is, is rubbish. It's, uh, Clearly, they're building this thing to a price. I understand that, but it it, it is pure rubbish. Uh, many of the see there just there it went. Many of the times, it doesn't hold uh, the position you put it in, and when you go to push uh, push the uh, uh, it it doubles as a button. See, it's kind of wiggly jiggly. It's it's, it's pretty bad. Uh, when you push the button, it, it can sometimes jump to another menu location. Uh, like I said, built to a price. The feed mechanism is, is pretty much a copy of all the other machines that are out there. Uh, it, I had no problem getting it to feed. Uh, if, you, uh, if you straighten out the end of the filament so it doesn't hang up uh, in this initial uh, little bit here, it, it, it feeds reasonably well. It's just a piece of poly piping that goes down. These are just little, little you know, press to, uh, you know, press to fit water fittings is really what they are. Uh, it was, I didn't have any difficulty with it uh, feeding either the PLA uh, or, or the ABS. Uh, other materials, filth materials, may be a different story. Uh, nor does it have uh, any problem in, uh, in getting the actual uh, the spool to move, uh, even though that is just hanging literally on a square arm coming off of the side of the machine. Uh, the, uh, it appears to be plenty of compliance uh, and rigidity at the same time in the feed that is also bundled with the control cables that are running down for the uh, nozzle uh, uh, heaters and the, uh, and the fan. Uh, it's, it's, it's a good enough design. Uh, we'll, we'll see after significant use if uh, this starts to show any weakness, but I see nothing here that couldn't be, uh, couldn't be replaced uh, by either ordering parts off Amazon or a trip to the hardware store. So for, for serviceability, this should be fine. It appears to be a standard uh, miniature PC type fan. Uh, and, uh, you know, uh, they, they, someone, someone had, had their wits together. Uh, of course, this machine uh, is, uh, you can find the manufacturer of it on Alibaba. Uh, this, uh, you know, Monoprice obviously is a rebadging of this machine. Uh, I won't dare attempt to pronounce the, uh, the actual Chinese manufacturer's name. 
but uh, it's it's not bad. It's a it's a well put together package that that clearly some thought was put into. The build plate itself is a relatively simple design. Uh, it is leveled by means of four uh, hex head screws that are in each corner. Uh, the uh, recommended uh, leveling procedure, of course, is to slip a piece of paper or a business card, something under the head, uh, run the head down into it and adjust, uh, adjust the four corners to where you have proper clearance on all four corners. Uh, once I set it up, I, I really have not had any difficulty in this staying, uh, staying leveled. Uh, it came with standard masking tape uh, on the platform. It, it worked, but I did have some peeling with it, so uh, I went ahead and uh, used blue tape. I've been experimenting with various blue tapes. Uh, of course, the 3M uh, works very well. Uh, also, a discount uh, uh, Harbor Freight. Uh, brand uh, tape which is available in a two inch spool at very reasonable prices actually works very well and uh, and I don't mind uh, throwing it away every couple of builds because it is so inexpensive. Uh, they provide a, a tool for, for scraping. This is a relatively uh, a hard plastic. It does have some flexibility to it but it's relatively hard and it works pretty well and uh, I was able to find a similar one at the hardware store for when this gets chipped and used up. Uh, additionally, they, uh, they also provide uh, the hex tool for uh, leveling the build plate. Uh, it's compliant. Oops, its compliance is pretty good. Uh, you know, you can you can shuttle it by hand, and doesn't feel like you're trying to break the machine. Uh, underneath, it is uh, it is linear uh, uh, linear bearings. Uh, they are relatively small, uh, but they're uh, they're surprisingly smooth. Uh, and the actual uh, 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 translation is handled with uh, with a uh, cogged band. Uh, and that, that seems to work pretty well. They've got a, a tensioning spring on it, and I haven't seen uh, really much drift. Of course, with only a 120 by 120 millimeter build plate, there's really not enough uh, room to build up any distortion. But for what I've been using it for, it seems to be working pretty well, and it's pretty true. Here's a active window of uh, Cura. Uh, I'm uh, using Mac, and uh, you will need to download an older version uh, to be able to configure this printer according to the instructions in the manual provided. Uh, I am using version 15.04.6. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how old this release is. Uh, it does appear to be stable. Uh, I haven't encountered any problems with it. Uh, but on the newer versions, uh, you don't have the ability to independently configure uh, all of the uh, uh, cam uh, parameters for operating this machine because it's not on the drop down menu. Uh, this older version will allow you to do that and the instructions uh, are, are reasonably well done and there's a number of tutorials online to help you do that and uh, videos on the use of Cura. It's a good piece of software, it's basic, it's free uh, you have uh, you load your model and you can change it. You can scale it in various ways. You can rotate the model uh, based on how you want to uh, build it. Uh, may find a more advantageous uh, uh, angle, and then the CAM processor will give you your uh, your time to print. Uh, although somehow it always seems to take longer than it states, uh, I'm not going to go into the into the reasons for that. Uh, but it's 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 pretty simple, and you can easily mirror uh, mirror objects. This this would be a good machine for somebody who just wants to go on Thingverse or something like that and just download little bits and trinkets and print them. Uh, uh, it, it it's it's a good machine at, at a very low price point to do such a thing. Uh, but uh, some things uh, that uh, that that do uh, do bug me occasionally is uh, if we do go to print, <clears throat> we've already put in the printing parameters that we want. Uh, it'll open. It takes a little while for it to open. Once it does, it gives us the uh, <clears throat> the actual temperatures of the uh, of the machine. And sometimes you'll find that the uh, temperatures of the machine really lag behind the set point initially. Uh, I don't know if this is a problem with the machine. It definitely has enough thermal capacity. Uh, but for example, at my uh, printing set points of uh, 200 uh, extrusion temperature and 50 
build plate temperature, it, it always seems to take a while to build to that temperature. And you really want to make sure you're, you're, you're close to within that temperature or else the machine won't allow itself to start printing. And Cura will start uh, cranking out uh, G-code uh, that will, of course, be going nowhere. Uh, so you want to be mindful that you really do have, you're really at your temperatures uh, and verify that on uh, the user interface of the machine itself before you hit print. Now that we're up to the proper temperature, I'm going to go ahead and start the print. As uh, with most relatively low cost machines, uh, it'll put down a little dab of plastic and extrude it out. Uh, just to just to clear that a little bit before it uh, begins printing. Sometimes it'll drag a little bit of that along and stick it down on the build plate, uh, but uh, it'll uh, cure is pretty good about putting a uh, putting a ring in around that will clear uh, clear whatever you know bits and pieces may be sticking to the uh, to the nozzle before it uh, jumps in and starts really building. So far I haven't had much problems with uh, peeling or warpage, but I'm really not printing very many uh, thin things. And uh, being that it is still relatively hot here, I do have the uh, air conditioning uh, occasionally cycles on or off. And it, it doesn't really have any, uh, appear to have any problem keeping up with, uh, with room temperature changes. Uh, it's fairly stable. Uh, of course, uh, a lot of that is owed to PLA having a, having a uh, pretty stable uh, uh, you know uh, characteristics for this sort of printing uh, and uh, I tend to tend to run it on the warm side uh, like I said 200 degrees uh, nozzle uh, temperature uh, this material recommends uh, the usual 180 to 210 uh, range uh, just uh, just so you know I'm using the uh, the uh, hatchbox uh, 3d printer uh, standard PLA filament and it works pretty well here are some samples uh, that I printed up. This is a part, uh, another part I'm working on uh, at work, and uh, the, the resolution is pretty good. Uh, I just had it set to, to normal. Uh, for example, there is a fifty thousandths hole uh, in the middle there that actually is uh, is clear. Uh, there is a little bit of bleed. Uh, these holes I did have to uh, chase out uh, with a uh, with a drill. Uh, but all in all, it's it's a reasonably good print. Uh, like once again, for the for the hundred ninety nine dollar price, you really can't beat it. Uh, I'm uh, doing the prints with a twenty percent fill, and that seems to be uh, reasonable for for you know we're just we're just checking our fit and finish of these things to see if it's a product we're going to want to uh, invest in uh, making a mold for. Uh, here is the uh, standard little uh, Cura bot. Uh, let a closer look at that out of the camera folk. Come on, camera focus on that. Um, yeah, it does a reasonably good uh, good job. This was printed with the uh, sample PLA filament uh, provided with the machine. Uh, that filament was okay. They only give you a little tiny bit of it, basically just enough to print this. Uh, but uh, uh, once again, uh, with standard uh, Hatchbox uh, uh, PLA, it, it does a pretty good job. Uh, some of the details in there, we put inserts for screws, uh, or I'm sorry, nuts, no problem. Uh, they dropped right in. Uh, plenty of clearance. Uh, uh, inside, it built uh, It built a reasonably, uh, Cura decided to make a reasonably large support on the inside. I uh, was able to get it uh, cleaned out uh, without too much difficulty. Uh, but, uh, uh, yeah, it, uh, it didn't seem to have any problem at all uh, uh, in... Uh, and making this consistent uh, over the course of the taper of that side, it uh, it came out pretty good. Printer's been running for a little while, and the temperature has stabilized. It's uh, stayed within a degree uh, of uh, 200 degrees uh, on the nozzle, and stayed pretty solid on 50 degrees uh, build plate temperature. Uh, of course, as I say that, it goes down to 49 and back to 50. Uh, but uh, it, I'm quite pleased. Uh, you know, at the, at the initial advertised price of $199, uh, you know, I was expecting something to be barely functional that I would really have to baby to get it to do much of anything and more of a novelty. But uh, I've, uh, it's done pretty much everything I've asked it to do. Uh, the, uh, I have noticed, though, that uh, I bought this on Amazon, and uh, with shipping it was about uh, $229, and, 
and because uh, I got expedited shipping uh, and Amazon Prime. Uh, I have noticed the price uh, has begun to trickle up a little bit. Uh, probably some of that having to do with favorable reviews online and wider publicity of this. Uh, they, they may have realized they had a better machine than they thought they had. Uh, but uh, even even at a, at, a, at a slightly higher price, it really is a good machine uh, in comparison to other uh, entry-level budget-type machines out there. Yeah, you could probably improve the prints by dropping a shroud over it. Uh, uh, oh, uh, this, uh, with PLA or ABS, uh, there's really not that much odor generated by this machine. It, it, it's, it's perfectly fine, unless you're, unless you're uh, very sensitive, which I know there are some people out there who are. Uh, I, I, I'm reasonably uh, aware of uh, the burning plastic smell, and I have no problem with it. Uh, the uh, uh, removal from the build plate can be a little difficult. Um, the size of the build plate and the way it's connected, I'm always concerned I'm going to damage the linear uh, bearings underneath, but so far so good. I've been able to, uh, to uh, uh, get everything off of it. Uh, um, uh, sometimes the uh, every every couple of builds the tape will tear. Eh, it's cheap, uh, but uh, you know I gotta say that it's a, it's a decent product, and I have uh, no problem uh, recommending it to people who uh, who want to experiment with 3D printing. So uh, there you have it, the uh, Monoprice Select Mini 3D printer, bargain.